All right, cool. Oh god, of course I start every video by fucking vomiting on myself. Whoa! Everybody, welcome back. I have been slacking like crazy on Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I've been out of town for PAX. Uh, I hit a million subscribers at PAX. Absolutely crazy. I'm working on a couple special things. I'm gonna have a Pokemon sort of million special and then just my regular stuff. So, all you Pokemon fans out there, I got you! I'm gonna have something really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm just I'm making sure everything comes together correctly. Uh, there's a couple little pieces I still need to put together. But it's going to happen soon, I promise. It's going to be great. So, uh, until then, we have more Ultra Prism. Still, currently, the newest set. we got a new one coming out next month uh, called Forbidden Light. And I don't know anything about it. So, until I really see uh, it getting a little bit closer, I'm probably just going to stay in the dark. <laughs> so i got no idea. Um, boom, there's that. Let me get my sleeves. We got sleeves. And uh, let's just go on in. You guys, uh, you're not new to this. If you are new to this, I suggest you watch some of the other videos. We got a green code. So you know we're not going to be seeing anything too crazy in here. There's an Electivire, Garchomp, and a Fire Energy. I don't. I think I'm kind of done pulling the Garchomps. Um, they're just, they're not, they're just not worth anything. <laughs> you know, if when I'm opening up, 20 boxes and uh, I, I pulled the same card a bunch of times. I, I will save a bunch of them. Oh my god, the double mo rotom. I will set aside the scrotums though. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna organize my cards a little bit differently here. Just for the sake of speed. But uh ooh, now we got a white code. But yeah, you know, I fire through the other oh. Heatran! Okay, we got another white coat. Maybe we'll hit something this time. Hopefully I also won't throw it. There we go. We're safe. We're safe. A Simeon, Shinx, Carnivine, Murkrow, Magnemite, Cherum, Gumshoes, aka Mr. Trump, Shield on, got an electric memory, and a Torterra Hollow. Welcome to the family, little man. Let me move my mouse real quick. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I just dropped everything. Whew. Yeah, you can tell I'm out of practice. Good lord. Good lord. I'm throwing stuff everywhere. I don't even have a trash can. I wasn't prepared. Oh, we got ourselves a prism at least. There's a Cyrus and another scrotum. I'm always happy with the scrotums. Cyrus, welcome, buddy. You're probably my favorite prism card right now. Because you seem to be the most useful. <laughs> that and Solgaleo. Solgaleo prism is super good. Um, I think Metal is still waking for... Waking? Still waiting for its proper takeover. A little Duck Trio in there. It's one of my favorite cards right now, honestly. I built that deck. I sent my list over to... Uh, if you guys watch Deerium's Competitive. Uh, my buddy Andrew Mahone. I sent him that list. Uh, I'm hoping he uh, does a couple gameplays with it, puts it on the channel. It's uh, it's a goofy deck. It's by no means meta. It's kind of like the anti-meta, to be honest with you. I built it to counter a bunch of decks that are uh, really going right now. It hits like six or seven. There's another scrotum. Six or seven uh, of the meta decks right now for weakness. It's pretty ridiculous. So um, it'd be cool if he gets some gameplays up of those. I know he said he had some recording issues recently. Uh, the internet. We, uh, we had some storms here in Ohio, so I understand it gets a little crazy here around this time of the year. The weather doesn't know what it wants to do. There's a Shinx, Yanma, Bronzor, Gibble, Rosalia, Manaphy, Lily, Magneton, Alolan Sandshrew, and oh my god, that is beautiful. Holy shkakoshikanamanahinohonokonoli! I have no idea what word I was going to say there, so I just started making sounds. <laughs> there is a Glaceon GX Hyper Rare. Oh man, that is beautiful. I don't think I've pulled a Glaceon Hyper, or maybe I have. I can't remember what Evolutions I've pulled Hypers of. I can't keep up. I feel like it was a, I feel like it was a Leafeon, but I could be wrong. Glaceon, welcome. 
such a stinking good looking card. Man. I love getting the hyper rares. I really do. I don't play them, but it's just such a rewarding thing to pull one of them. They, they just sort of take you by surprise. <laughs> nope. Get things mixed up here. There we go. Why are you guys all crooked? There we go. If they're crooked, that means my camera's crooked. Which means I gotta figure that out later. Nagirna and Salazzle. Still haven't seen our first Cynthia yet. Gotta be on the lookout for her. She's an elusive lady, that is for sure. Oh, we got a white code. Here we go. Hopefully it's not just a hollow, but we will see. We have a Riolu. Progunk. Eevee. Alolan Vulpix. Diglett. Yon Mega. Volkner. Kranidos. Reverse Hollow Dabbing Print Flop. And a Lux Ray. It is a hollow rare. <laughs> Which is fine. At least it's one of the pretty ones. I love that Lux Ray card. I have since the moment they revealed it. Super cool. Just looks really nice. Elect or uh, Manetric is one of my or Luxray. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the wrong electric Pokemon. Uh, Luxray is one of my favorite electric Pokemon. That Ampharos. Really like Ampharos. Always have. Ampharos is just a great Pokemon. Is that two? Oh, I was about to say, is that two Sandshrews? Do Piter, Tap you, Lele. Not the one you really want. <laughs> you want the one from Guardians Rising. And you want as many of them as you can get. It's the best card in format, it's the most useful card in format. And it's, uh, it's worth money. Alright. So, another white code. This time I really hope it's not a hollow rare, since the last time I said that it was. <laughs> Turtwig, Rotom, oh, he goes to the pile. Driftblim, Gabite, Luxio, and, oh, well, speaking of evolutions, there we go. There is a Leafy on GX. Coming to hang out with, it, with its friend here. Welcome. I hope I haven't missed any regular Rotoms, but I feel like I haven't. Oh, they're less common than the rare ones. Oh, oh god. Oh, I'm making a mess. And there goes the wrapper. Alright. Yep. That. And that. And, oh. I'm just, I'm all over the place. Good god. Magnemite. Progunk. Bronzor. Gibble. Pachirisu. Bronzong. Missing Clover. Prinplup. He's dabbing again. There's a Lunala Prism. And a Donmig's Necrozma Prism. Imagine that. Lunala, and then... And then the Necrozma takes over Lunala, and that's what you get. That's seriously a cool pack, actually. <laughs> that pack has a story. That's, uh, that's really dope. I like that a lot. That's one of those cool little things. Plus, they look really nice together. Can't, you can't deny that. Lunala isn't the best card in the world. Neither is Donwing's Necrozma. I think it's seeing some play right now in Volcanion decks? I, I think? Hell, I don't know. I haven't played in a while. I went last week and I played my, uh, I played my Dubtria deck. I took people by surprise. I actually tied for second place, which is insane. Or, uh, or was it third place? I don't remember. I think there was like a three or four way tie for second place. Which is just hilarious. It's not a deck people really expect to see when they go and play. But, uh, it does its job. It does its job well. It makes people laugh, and then it also beats them. What more could you want from that? <laughs> it also makes people a little mad when they get beat by uh, Doug Trio. It's just a bunch of moles. Moles? I'm not saying that correctly. Moles! I, sp I said it like people spelled M-U-L-L-S. Moles. Bunch of little moles. There we go. A little Midwest accent, because I'm stupid. Obama Snow. Oh my gosh. Cynthia, where are you, my dear? Are we going back to the whole, if there's two Cynthias in a box? They're on the same side of the box thing. I know, uh, I know Darium found that pattern for a little while. All the boxes that I have right now are still, like, the first print run of this set. I still don't know that they've reprinted Ultra Prism yet at all. I mean, there's, there's a new set coming soon. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Oh, no I didn't. I'm just... What's wrong with me today? Um, there's a new set coming soon, and I, I don't know if we're actually going to get another set of Ultra Prism. It, this might be it. Um, but I, I also could have just totally missed the news of a reprint. And that's my fault. So, who knows? If you guys know, let me know in the comments. I, uh, I gotta, I gotta admit, I've been, I've been super busy. I'm out of touch with, uh, 
what's going on with the old porchy man world. We're gonna move the scrotums for now. We'll keep that a mystery. And then uh, we're gonna keep on busting packs here. There's a Gibble, Krogunk, Turtwig, Mount Coronet, Honchcrow, Monferno, a Lolan Longneck Daddy, and a Lucario. There they are. Welcome to the family, y'all. Welcome to the family! Oh. We've got a Manaphy, a Fan Scrotum, and a Fighting Energy. And there's our first Cynthia. Alright, let's see. We should be good for uh, for two Cynthia in this box, right? So let's see if it sticks with the old system here. Watch them be like back-to-back -back packs. That'd be hilarious. Let's get them bam bam and then you never see them again. We've got a Magnemite, a little an Executor. All right, my theory was wrong, which I'm happy about because that's disappointing. <laughs> I don't want my only Cynthia's to be back-to-back. -back. I want it to be like a... Maybe it makes a bad pack a good pack later in the day. We'll see. There's our energy card. We have a Piplup, Salandit, Execute, Yanma, Drifloon, Turtonator, Mars, Electric Memory, Reverse Lucario, and a Hollow Cresselia. Lucario, we were expecting so much from you with Garchomp. Maybe when Garchomp gets released to next set as a fighting type, Lucario will go up in value, which is why I'm holding on to all of my Lucarios. Um, because they actually might be worth something here soon. There's a Reverse Hollow Alolan of Trio, which I'm definitely keeping from my deck. And a Wash Rotom. Welcome, buddy. Yeah, I've actually built my Alolan Dug Trio deck. I'm going to max rarity it. it. R -r 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 rarity it, because I love playing max rarity. It's never fully max rarity. Like, I don't like playing secret rare energies. I'm not a huge fan of secret rare double colorless energies. I don't have full art Cynthia's. I have the promo Cynthia's from, uh, from the regional championships. They look really cool with the stamp on them. Um, so it's it's kind of like a preferred max rarity is what I'll call it. It's uh it's what I like as far as rarity goes. Oh, I put Rotom in the wrong pile. Can't be having that. We got to get an accurate scrotum count at the end of our video. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll set that over here. A little and Doug Trio is not a pool. The card is worth like 12 cents. <laughs> Uh, but to me, it is a pull because I love the card. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. And a scrotum. Oh, my God. What a pack. We're excited about scrotums and hollow Cynthia's. That means we might be good for three Cynthia in this box, which is uh, it's always nice. That card is going to hold its value for a long time, especially in a meta where we're not going to have Persephone. Perse Perse Professor Sycamore. We're not going to have it in soon. Uh, let's see. Probably here in about five months is when those cards are going to be rotated out of the current format. Um, it seems to be around every September. Pokemon rotates uh, what is called the standard format, uh, which is just the cards that are legal for play in the current competitive season. Chimchar and a Magnazone Hollow. Magnazone also worth keeping. Uh, just in case that Duskmane Necrozma deck starts going off. Um, but yeah, with, with format coming up, what you see happen is cards get rotated out of what's legal to play at that time. And what that does is it drops the value of them significantly. So uh, if you guys are, are players um, and you're trying, you know, you have a bunch of like Full Art Professor Sycamore, a bunch of Full Art per or in, um, as well as if you have anything like Bridget or Garbodors or, or cards that are worth a lot of money now that will not be after rotation, Think about selling them soon um, and, and replacing them with new cards that you're going to play. And that's what I do when I sell them. We have a Reverse Hall of Fan Rotom. Oh my god! And a Secret Rare Unit Energy. Holy shit, that is beautiful! Oh my god. I can't stop looking at it. Woo! Man, that is... <laughs> That is a beautiful card. Holy crap. And we got another Scrotum for the pile. Oh, jeez. That one kind of took my breath away. I wasn't expecting that. What a beauty... Oh, I can't even speak. What a beautiful card. Make sure I didn't miss any, uh, any other Rotoms there. Plus, we got our Cynthia's on deck. We're probably still due for another. We've still got like eight packs left. We already have six hits. We're probably due for another Cynthia soon. 
This is turning out to be a hell of a box. There's a Shinonic, our favorite little sensor. You know I use him a lot. <laughs> it's been a while. I've kind of stopped editing the Pokemon videos just because it was a funny little thing. I want to keep you guys guessing. One day I'll pop it in there again and surprise you. Which sounds incredibly inappropriate now that I've said that. We've got ourselves a Gizzagatahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahitahit